In this work, we report the synthesis, characterization, and in vitro evaluation of conductive polymer nanoparticles as agents for phototermal ablation. Two types of nanoparticles were prepared from either monomer M1 or from ethylene dioxythiophene E dot using oxidative emulsion polymerization. First, either monomer M1 or E dot and 4-dodecylbenzene sulfonic acid, DBSA, were dissolved in chloroform forming the organic phase. Separately, an echo solution of poly-4 starring sulfonic acid comaleic acid, PSS-CoMA, was prepared. The organic solution was then added to the echo solution and stirred to form an emulsion of the monomer. The oxidative polymerization was then initiated by addition of iron 3 chloride to the respective monomer emulsion. After a one hour reaction period, this process resulted in the formation of P1 or P dot nanoparticles stabilized with DBSA and PSS CoMA, herein referred to as P1 PMD or P dot PMD nanoparticles, respectively. The oxidative emulsion polymerization process resulted in the preparation of stable aqueous suspensions of spherical nanoparticles of less than 100 nanometers in diameter as determined by dynamic light scattering and electron microscopy. The nanoparticles were readily stabilized in the aqueous solutions as demonstrated by their inability to be extracted by either chloroform or toluene which are layered below and above the nanoparticle suspensions in these vials. Both P1PMD and P.PMD nanoparticles showed strong absorption of light in the near infrared region. The phototermal conversion efficiency of the nanoparticles, or the percent of the laser light absorbed that is emitted from the nanoparticles in the form of heat, was compared to that of other nanomaterials that show near infrared absorbance or that have been used as phototermal agents, as shown, the conductive polymer nanoparticles, including P1PMD, P dot PMD and Clevius pH 1000 provide high phototermal conversion efficiencies greater than 50%, that is higher than those of commercially available gold nanorods and gold nanoshells. In vitro studies were carried out using MDA MB231 human breast cancer cells. First, MTT studies were carried out to investigate the cytocompatibility of the nanoparticles, demonstrating that both P1PMD and P.PMD nanoparticles caused no cell toxicity after a 1.5 hour exposure period, which was utilized for all further experiments. For phototermal ablation studies, MDA MB231 breast cancer cells were exposed to nanoparticles both types of nanoparticles were able to mediate significant cancer cell ablation upon irradiation with the laser. P1PMD nanoparticles, however, were more effective than P.PMD nanoparticles at ablating cells. The result of the spectral differences of these two nanoparticle types. Specifically, the absorption peak of P1PMD nanoparticles more closely aligns with the wavelength of the laser used in these studies, thereby producing a stronger phototermal effect at equal concentrations. In conclusion, we've reported the preparation of two types of near-infrared absorbing conductive polymer nanoparticles and established their potential as agents for laser-induced phototermal therapy.